Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the Retro Repair Guy. Today's a bit of a special episode. I wanted to share with you my build of my home theater and the idea came about from an email I received. Uh, let me just read you the email. I have it here in my hands. Um, it's from someone called Terry. It says, Hi, I just discovered your show a few days ago and subscribed. I was wondering where you got your home theater seats. Every time I keep finding the lazy boy kinds, but yours are just like the cinema, which is what I'm looking for. Looking forward to more episodes, Terry. Terry, first of all, thank you so much for subscribing as well as everybody else who subscribed. In uh, seven short weeks, I've actually managed to getting subscribers and growing and uh, a lot of views on the videos. And I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll just keep growing. The other thing I want to say is, well, yeah, the theater seats and everything, these were a dream of mine forever. I was looking for them forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't say this, but growing up, I used to spend a lot of time in the cinema. I used to uh, skip school, spend my afternoon there. A little bit like the Schwarzenegger movie, uh, I think it was called Last Action Hero. really enjoyed it. And uh, I used to spend, like I said, my time in the movies all the time, all the time. So it was important for me to, you know, build something. And I, I always wanted to wait till I had a big budget, big budget. I'm going to wait. A couple of years ago, I said, no, that's it. Life's short enough. I'm going to build it, and instead of waiting to have $100,000 to build it, I built it on $3,000, which is more realistic of the budget I had. But you know what? We're enjoying. We're having fun. The wife is enjoying it, the kids, their friends and family, everybody. So especially these days, I find a lot of people are staying home. Either you can't go to the cinema or it's you know, always a hassle. So I just wanted to show you what I did, how I did it. And uh, I'll even include some links in the description. Uh, they might be affiliate links. I mean, I, I haven't done that yet, but you know, I might uh, throw some affiliate links there. And if you click on them, it doesn't change anything for you. I, I'll make a couple bucks out of it. Um, but either way, I'll, I'll buy, put some links up to what, what I bought, how I did it. And uh, you know, hopefully that can help you. Uh, now, I did a little bit of renovations in my house as well. So I want to re-insulate the walls. Uh, because I had actually no insulation. My house was really old. Uh, but the thing is, if you already have a room, you can look at how I built the little stages, how I did everything, and hopefully it'll uh, help you get you on the right track. Let's take a look. My story begins with an old 1970s house with an ancient fireplace. It was a decent sized room, except that the back wall had a door leading to the laundry room, making it impossible to put any seating against the wall, and the fireplace took up quite a bit of space. We used it a couple of times, but soon discovered that it was pretty unsafe because of its built and over 40 years of use. So, we thought we would have an insert put in, and the project began with only insulating the walls around the fireplace. But the cost of an insert, the loss of heat from the fireplace, and the 14 square feet of space it occupied in the room made the project evolve into the difficult task of taking the whole thing apart. With the fireplace removed, I started getting ideas for a larger screen that I could now center on the wall. And well, one thing led to another, and the transformation took shape from an old cozy but dungeon-like look to a pleasant, entertaining space. And with all the extra space we had in the double garage, there was no point in keeping the laundry room where it was, so I transformed that into a small concession bar and a hall leading up to the cinema entrance. Beginning at the other end of the hallway, a few posters I picked up over the years adorned the walls. In the corner, there's a small vintage fridge from 1947. It still works, but its exterior restoration is a future project I intend to do. Probably, the piece that stirs up the most conversation is my real and functioning 1980s New York City payphone that I picked up years ago at an online auction for $350. The bar area is made with two melamine cabinets I picked up at a big box store for $200 each and painted them red a sink from the same place on liquidation at $99, and a quartz countertop cut from a leftover piece that I purchased from a distributor for only $300. 
The popcorn machine was purchased for only $250, bringing the total of this little bar area to $1,049. The cinema entrance has more movie posters hanging on the walls and an IKEA cabinet I picked up from the liquidation section for $79 showcases some collectibles and other nostalgic items. And yes, I'm a big fan of The Exorcist and this is a real Roman ritual that contains the rite of exorcism. Moving to the inside, the room measures 17 by 13. I purchased two $75 doors that I painted with high gloss red. A 64 inch deep riser was built to accommodate a row of five seats in the back of the room and allow for the leg room in the front without having the seats up against the wall. The riser was constructed with two by six inch lumber and a three quarter inch plywood on top. The riser was filled with soundproofing material and I made a few holes at the front and added ventilation grills on top of each side to have the riser simultaneously act as a base trap. The front was constructed in the same way without lights or holes. Remember to put a vapor barrier for the wood if it's directly on concrete. I added some LED patio lights to the riser and used half moon kitchen handles to diffuse the lights and give it an authentic look of more expensive lighting. The knights and shield that decorate the room were inherited from my uncle. I purchased two IKEA Billy shelves for $69 each to store games, Blu-rays, and other media. When it comes to equipment, I already had decent Polk audio speakers for the front, and I picked up a center speaker that was on special of the same brand for $130. I also found an old 90s JBL subwoofer for $50 that I took apart, spray painted and cleaned up. To complete the 7.1 surround sound, I purchased 4 cheap speakers online for $50 a pair for the back and surround speakers. It was not a cost of building the home theater, but a great addition to it. The two arcades machines were picked up online for $350 each. I hooked up my old equipment I had, my LD player, HD DVD. Xbox, PS3, and an old turntable to my Pioneer Elite 7.1 receiver. The electric 120-inch screen was an online purchase for only $239. And finally, the projector is a simple Optoma 1080p DLP projector. But the one thing that gives it its real cinema feel is the seats with cup holders. The arms raise for that special movie night when my wife wants to cuddle. They are also very comfortable for hours of movie watching and gaming. And it finally all comes together to give us that special entertainment place that we can all enjoy with friends and family. So there's a few things I want to specify. First of all, how did I get the seats? Every time a cinema is either closing down or uh, is doing renovations, they sell off their seats in like, like bulk, okay? Always hundreds at a time to older cinemas or theaters, community theaters, stuff like that, um, that have the older seats. It's always a, a hand-me-down, right? Well, not a hand-me-down because they buy them, but they, you know, that's how they do it. So the thing is, um, find out who the owner is. That's what I did. I contacted the owner. I reached this lady. She was super nice. And I said, listen, it's been my dream my whole life. I really, really want some seats. And she was insisting that they only sell them, you know, hundreds at a time. And I said, listen, please, I, I'll, I'll buy a few. She says, okay, I'll, I'll sell them to you 75 bucks a piece. And so I was really thrilled. We got to talking a little bit more. And I said, I'm going to rent a truck and everything. And, you know, my kids will enjoy it. So after a little bit of talking, she said, you know what? Uh, you sound like a good kid. I guess. I guess that was funny for me because I guess, you know, for her, I was a kid. But um, yeah, so she said, you sound like a good kid. I'll give them to you for 50 bucks a piece. I was so thrilled. Uh, I rented a truck for a few hours. I put some gas in there and I went to pick them up. I was two hours out uh, with the seats. And I even had to buy a few bolts from the big box store. Everything came out to about $575. I was so thrilled. And these seats, now there are a few online you can find like $350, $400 US a piece. 
I don't know if they're as good or as good commercial quality, but these are amazing. You can just drop soda on it. It will never penetrate, never go through anything. They are amazing seats. And for the price, wow. Okay. Now, if you ask my wife, she's telling you it's not the most amazing, most comfortable thing. They like to lie down with a cover. They would try to lie down on the seats. Of course, it's not for that. This is not a couch. If that's what you're looking for to binge watch, do something else. But I'm comfortable. I can stay there three hours. I can play games. I can do everything. I have no problems. It comes up to, you know, over my head. I really love it. Uh, the ones in the front, they, they move a little bit for the back. The ones in the back are more stiff. And, uh, you know, the only thing they didn't have is the finishing piece on the side because they only have so many for the, for the rows, the middle rows. Um, but, you know, aside from that, who cares? Look how nice it is. I enjoy it. I'm comfortable. People come over. They're like, wow, it's a real cinema. If you're going to put two rows, do build a riser there, okay? Because that's important. It's quick. You don't have to, you know, spend too much time on it. A few screws, boom, 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 build yourself a box. But I use the 2x6, use a 2x8. That was my only error that 2 inches makes a difference. It's more natural when you're stepping, okay, first of all. Uh, when, you, when you measure it, you'll see. And the thing is, is the other thing is with the, when offsetting your seats after that, you'll see it gives you that cinema feel and there's nobody is blocking anybody else. So really make yourself a little box in back if you're going to put some seats in the back, okay? Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is um, for the floor, I looked at the cinema carpet. Of course, if you're going to start getting into sound, this and that, everyone is going to, oh, the floor is not as good. I took some acoustic felt. Uh, made for that that goes under the floor and I took a laminate a laminate that was a commercial laminate and um, doesn't scratch for the kids wipes up easy I mean yeah we know that it's not meant for leaving water on it's not meant for a bathroom you're better off with vinyl but you can use vinyl as well um, I just found that vinyl scratch a little bit easier but these commercial uh, laminate floors are amazing because they don't scratch uh, dogs kids everything it's amazing fast cleanup you know when we want to sweep in there with the seats it's amazing i can get that place clean really really fast and what i did is i put an area rug in the middle i found for 20 bucks at walmart so you know what it's just so good enough for the sound absorption the curtains were 10 bucks each and uh really 10 bucks each uh, at walmart and <laughs> you know it just works it works it's fine and yeah, okay, if, you're, if you want to look at the home, home theater at $100,000 or a million bucks, don't turn this off. Just go somewhere else. But, you know, for $3,000, I think it's not bad. And uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I'm just sharing with you how you can do it on a budget. And you know what? I promise you, you'll enjoy it. Well, I hope some of my tips have helped. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment below and I'll make sure to answer it. Having a home cinema is lots of fun, whether you want to enjoy it with a family or if you want to spend some time alone away from everyone. Life is short. Enjoy it. Spider-Man. And she wanted to play, so I'm going to install this thing in my home theater and I'm going to share that experience with her. I think it'll be beautiful. So as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I see you guys next week. Bye-bye.